guys, today I wanted to share with you guys my chili recipe as well as a great substitution to the store-bought chili packets. I hope you guys enjoy. As with any recipe, I like to start off by doing any of the chopping. So here you see me with one medium onion. I'm just gonna chop this onion up and then we will start on the base for the chili. And now in a, I guess, large skillet, over medium-high heat, I'm going to take my meats and brown them up. I have two different meats. I have this Johnsonville Italian sweet sausage. I'm going to mix that with just your basic ground beef. I use 90-10, you use whatever kind you'd like. You can also use ground turkey, ground chicken, whatever ground meat you prefer. But the sausage is really important because it gives it a lot of good flavor depth. As you're browning the meat, you want to make sure you salt and pepper it to taste. And once your meat is mostly browned, you're gonna go ahead and add the entire chopped onion into it and cook it up just for a little while until the onion is almost completely tender. At this point, we're gonna add in all of our meat into our crock pot and then we'll start assembling and adding in all the other ingredients for our chili. The first ingredient is a small 8 ounce can of garbanzo beans drained, followed by a can of light red kidney beans also drained, and a can of drained black beans. I'm going to give this a nice quick mix just to incorporate it all together. And now we'll add in a small can of tomato sauce and a can of diced fire roasted tomatoes with chili peppers. You can use Rotel. I got this can at Trader Joe's. And we'll give this another good mix to get everything incorporated together. And now we'll go ahead and start with our chili packet replacement. We're gonna start with some chili powder. I'm gonna go with two and a half tablespoons of that. And then we will go with some paprika. It's one and a half teaspoon of paprika, one tablespoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of ground coriander, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of ground cumin. And then we're going to go ahead and give that a mix so that we can add it into our chili. And then you're going to slowly add this into your chili while you're mixing it. You're also going to want to add some liquid so you can use some kind of stock if you'd like. I always just use a cup of water. And then I cover it up and turn my crock pot onto low for six to eight hours or high for four hours. And this is the most amazing chili. As always, thank you guys so much for watching me. Let me know if you like these recipe videos by giving me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and let me know if you tried this out or also give me your favorite chili recipe. I'm always on the market to try new things. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.